your home, you need to take time because you can walk sweet puppies and spend time with them as well. Or from wherever you are, and Freedom Service Dogs is looking for special parents too. Puppy sit. You're going to love this. Here with How You Can Help, Erin Conley and down, down here. <laughs> what are you doing? Look at this. Do you want to get a shot of this? It's a, it's Sinatra. Are you ready for a belly rub? Yes. Oh, what a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. I know. So first, give us an overview of, of what you do. So Freedom Service Dogs is a Denver-based nonprofit, and we custom train service dogs and match them with people with a variety of disabilities, completely free of charge. Okay, story of Sinatra. Well, this sweet boy, he is a little over a year old. He's a standard poodle. Are you tired? And he spent the last few months living with a volunteer puppy raiser where he got all of his basics. Uh -huh. And now he's <gasps> back at our facility in Inglewood and he's gonna complete his service dog training. He's so dark, I'm trying to see. Can he sit up, can you sit up for us? Oh, he's just so relaxed. He's so relaxed. <laughs> now, how? what's the best way to be a volunteer puppy raiser? I mean, it takes a special heart. It really does. You know, it's a lot of dedication. Um, you're looking at having the puppy in your home for potentially seven months, so mm -hmm. of course you get really attached and mm -hmm. you bond with the puppy. You're responsible for teaching them basic obedience, house manners, getting them out in public, getting them socialized uh, <laughs> to a variety of people, places, things, experiences, and really setting them up to become a wonderful service dog. So how in demand are service dogs? You know, we're seeing a really, really high demand, and to give you an idea right now on our waiting list, we have more than 100 people who have applied, uh, they've been accepted to receive a service dog, and now they're waiting, which means that we need to find the appropriate dog and put them through the training so that we can get the dogs in the hands of people who need them most. So now, you may have said this, but Sinatra, almost ready? Because you have a graduate, you actually graduate the puppies. We do. So we do two graduations per year. Um, Sinatra is, will officially graduate in December, okay. but in the next few months we're going to match him with uh, one of the people on our waiting list. So, so he's he's pretty close <laughs> to finishing. <laughs> oh, you just that was too much, wasn't it? Um, how long do the volunteer puppy raisers have puppies then in their homes? Sometimes it can be as long as seven months. Because so they all train it, it, differently. Yep, yeah, they train differently. We get the, them at different times. So you know that it's a long-term commitment. It takes a lot of dedication. Mm -hmm. Um, but really, the, it's such a rewarding volunteer experience because you get to put all that time in training and then you hand your puppy off I and you change that. someone's life. I know. <laughs> Is that how you look at that? Because I think people, you know, someone like me, it's pets are just part of who I am oh, like many others. Yeah. But I think you're right. You have to look at it as you're helping to raise and then you're going to help someone in need. Exactly. And, and so it's that's... really just a life-changing experience, both for you as the volunteer, but for the person that you're going mm -hmm. to hand that dog off to. It's really special. Now, how do you know, or does someone know if they're a right person for this? Is there an interview process? Is it experience? How do you kind of help decide? Um, if you already have puppy raising experience, great. But if not, we walk you through all of the steps. There is quite a bit of training involved mm -hmm. because you're responsible for helping to set the puppy up to become a successful service dog. So we wanna make sure you have all of the knowledge and training and that you feel confident. Now, Erin, is it different than you also have a foster program? Is that different from if you want to help raise a puppy, but then foster? Yes, so the puppy raising, that's that's the big, long-term, very dedicated uh, volunteer job. Mm -hmm. We also have other opportunities. For example, if you wanna take a dog in training home for the weekend mm -hmm. and give them just a little break from the kennels, help them get used to life in a home environment. That's a way to get involved, but where you're not committing day in, day out to raising a puppy. How are you doing, Sinatra? I think he's doing okay. Are you doing just okay? <laughs> oh, he's and such... this is exactly what he should be doing, you it... know, as a service dog in training okay. out in public, just laying down while I am interacting, Calm. and he's just, yep, he's just hanging out. Well, keep us updated. We always will. a pleasure we to will. have you in. I know, and you always are bringing the, the different puppies, so we get to all start crew goes crazy, of course. <laughs> you have a good day, Sinatra. Don't work too hard. I know, you're busy in training. All right, join Freedom Service Dogs Puppy Raising Club. The group is also looking for foster volunteers. All details, please visit with them. There's a lot going on that you can help with. FreedomServiceDogs.org. Here's the number, 303-922-6231. And thank you so much for being with us um, on Mile High Living. And we hope to see you again tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. And if you do have extra time, uh, Freedom Service Dogs, they would love to 
definitely love to hear from you. Take care.